for me the interest is how does one proliferate the landscape how does one get into the landscape but not in a sort of larger master plan but more in a sort of tactical device where you can sort of enter and then it just has its own life and can do its own thing you know you release it in a way you don't even know the author anymore you know that when an object or an artifact has the ability to transcend the author then that's powerful at a very young age i had this incredible books there were time life series that were being printed here they were hard bound and there was a whole artist collection van gogh and duchamp so i had all these beautiful art books on geography history they were kind of on my desk and i used to tell my dad like you know who's going to read all these books like you know this you know you're crazy to keep getting these books and there was something which he kind of said to me and he said that you know it's okay if you don't find them they will find you things around you have a way to enter into your skin without you even knowing that i remember every single studio project and they're still alive they're not like a studio project that i did in school they're very much part of that collective sort of palimpsest if you want to call it that this was a promise i made to myself actually while i was at washu the school is just a vehicle to demonstrate that you know this is the space we can inhabit and it's not something that you come to learn and after you've learned it it's done and it's over and then you go on to the machinations of you know the profession and all of that for me the idea of the studio practice for me is absolutely at the center i came back from st louis and a few years later i was commissioned a small house and i remember drawing making a drawing set and you know making working drawings and you know all of that and then presenting it to these small group of guys i had from the village that i lived in and they were all looking at me like you know what what is it they firstly they said this house is like not happening we all agreed that the first mark was universal that it was a line drawn in that land and we said this will remain you know that's the basis of how we'll measure everything around and that sort of set the benchmark if you want to call it or the data and the whole house was then built without a set of drawings just in exactly the way they knew how to build it you know which was very traditional and i don't want to say traditional in you know it was how they built the the homes and how they built the architecture from you know where they lived and that's how it was you know that sort of grew from there and i think how can one take credit for that you know you have to kind of work in humility with that what i seek for in the work is anonymity because when you think about let's say a boromini or a piero della francesca or any of the people that you know that at least i'm inspired by you don't know them anymore they don't exist in terms of a physicality so for me i'm extremely aware of this idea of you know how does one recede or or not i don't want to say disappear but remain discreet in the work you know because at the end it the work is the work itself and it has a life of its own like for me to define what this is i used to get very anxious about it and the moment i let it be saying like why even bother to define it anymore why are you defining it why should it even be defined for myself and the moment i was able to do that i become more free my time at washu is indelible what i learned what i gained you know i think and more importantly the friendships i've made i've actually gained every in my my hair stands when i'm saying this that i have a bigger family and for me that's special there's a connection to the heart is the best way i can communicate that and for me that's i'm thankful for that i'm very thankful for that